What's up guys, this is Just Cause here with another video and a big announcement coming for the channel and a big announcement for me. I'm going to be opening the JCA Racing League uh, for currently NASCAR Heat 5. Future games in development will be uh, announced down the line. Uh, this is technically a reopening. I did do NASCAR Leagues on Heat 4 and Heat 3 and Heat 2 in the past. This is technically a reopening. I closed it down a long time ago due to imp more important matters at the time. So, I'm gonna, it's a big announcement I want to make. It's going to help the channel out a little. But, uh, all races, I'm going to be going through all the things about the league. Also, uh, some important info. If you guys want to join, it will be on Xbox. I will be sending out Xbox, uh, um, Xbox uh, posts. I will also be sending out posts on Twitter and in NASCAR Heat's Discord. Also on Insta for for this league. And let, let's hope it's uh, let's hope. So, shit. I, this thing gets planned all the way through because I cannot click some of these. Okay, hold on. I gotta move something real quick so I can actually click on these. Give me a sec here. There. There we go. Okay. So, let's start off with the Cup Series rules. Of course, you have to have rules in a league. And we do have some rules. First rule is please do not be a caution clock. Please do not be a caution clock in the league. Okay, we're looking for drivers that can race clean. I don't mind if you make a mistake here and there. Just don't be a caution clock, okay? I think everything would be personally fine if you guys do not. Um, next rule, no intentionally wrecking. No intentionally wrecking for cautions. No intentionally wrecking. Uh, now, if it's for payback, and there is a certain rule for payback that I have personally, if it is a reasonable excuse to get payback, then I'll allow you to get payback, as long as it's a reasonable excuse. Like, if a driver makes a mistake and puts you in the wall, that, that it's, it's, it's a mistake, okay? But if the driver repeats it at least four or five times, then, then I'll start seeing, eh, I guess it's reasonable. If, the dri if you and the driver have beef, and this is one of the rules I will also be implementing, no beef from other leagues in, here, in this one. So if something happened in a different league, don't bring it here. Okay, if you bring it here, we got a litany of problems. Just saying. Do not bring your beef here. Okay? Uh, but we also will be having a black flag system. You'll force be warned about your black flag. If, if you break the rules, there will be officials in your chat that will be warning you of your uh of your um thing that you have uh broken the rule have you broken they will warn you and say hey please don't do this again but after that you will be starting to get back flagged um the first black flag offense will be to the rear of the field you would have to drop back to the rear of the field either by caution or a stage end if you if you don't have time to go back to the rear of the field till the end of the race, then you'll be DQ'd to the rear of the lead lap. Your second black flag offenses will be uh will be pass throughs your first and third time. By the way, you will be getting three warnings. Okay, three warnings, three strikes, you're out. Roll. We're doing that. Okay, three warnings before your first black flag. Second and third black flags will have to be pass-throughs under green. This cannot be under caution. This is going to be under green. Fourth, you will be held for a lap. And then five, you'll have to be asked to lead the race and you will be DQ'd. Okay? 
black flag systems here are a big, big part of uh, of this league, okay? Uh, Daytona and Talladega, I'm still kind of questionable this rule. We'll see about this rule when Daytona comes around. I might be testing it if I do dual races. But Daytona and Talladega, you'll be using the, you can, you are allowed to use the little yellow line. You're allowed to go below it. But if you cause a wreck, you'll be black flagged instantly. There's no warning there. that It's automatic black flag. This I'm kind of questioning about here. Um, I want to test it into the duels, okay, if it do doesn't work in the duels, which I'm, I'm going to be using, so, if, if um, if that doesn't work out in the duels, then we'll split, we'll, we'll completely, like, cut that out. Daytona Talladega Weekly Qualifying, now if you guys do not know, in my old league, I did weekly qualifying for only super speedways, which means during that whole week, from the week of that race, from whatever day to the day before Daytona or Talladega, there would be weekly qualifying where you get four laps of single car at Daytona or Talladega. It would be a single car qualifying run in a lobby, no draft. It would either be by yourself or with a group, but it would only be split up. And that's the weekly qualifying. We'll be going over it during uh, the week of Daytona. But race settings. This will be the settings for the lobbies. 50% cup races. Well, some of them. Oh, actually a lot of them. A lot of them will be 50%. I am thinking of some of the Brist one of the Bristol races. One of the road course races will be down to fit 25. I'm also thinking the Southern 500 will also be down to 25 as well. Okay. Preset. This is a preset league. So presets are allowed. Tire pressure. Changing your pressures will be allowed as well. All races will be streamed. Now racing officials. I want racing officials who would just official the race, not race in the race. Okay? So that means I want to at least have two race officials, and they'll both be lobbying parties while I am commentating. I will be one of the commentators. But they will be uh, officialing the races. They will be also managing the parties at the same time. Damage will be on for certain racetracks. Short tracks and restrictor plates, I'm thinking not to put them on. Mile and a half to one mile tracks, I am thinking of just leaving them on. Because reasons, but that's what I'm thinking. Stage points, but no playoff points. There will be stages. There will be stages. Okay, but you will not be getting playoff points for the playoffs. I want an even playoff field when we go into the playoffs. They have even amount of points. And nobody has a cushion. You have to race, race, and race. Okay? Playoff format. Playoff format is one round of nine races where a certain amount of cars will make the championship. Okay, the certain amount of cars is currently in detailed, uh, currently because we don't know how many people are going to sign up yet. Remember, this is a sign-up video, going over the league and everything. Uh, there will be a playoff format, nine races, there is a ten race playoff, but the first round is nine races, and then after those nine races will be the championship race where a certain amount of cars will be able to race for championship. Now, this is going to be interesting. Okay, uh, the rule is also going to be two wins will lock you in, but you have to be required making at least four or five out of the nine playoff races if you can't show up. And if you have a reasonable excuse, I might, like, I might, um, 
think about, hey, I might be going, hey, you know, I, I understand your uh, reasoning, okay? Five points for pole and also five points for fastest lap, so that will also be um, something that... Uh, something that will be um, implemented. It's kind of a bonus point thing. Uh, signal on the back straightaway when you pin. I want to I want to kind of go over this before uh, I go over the apron. Signaling on the back stretch, which means on the back straightaway, you'll drive down to the apron to signal when you're going down. Just to courtesy, because if we get a lot of people, we might have to split up parties and I do not want to uh, have a caution out by the way this will be relaxed game cautions and black flag so make sure you do not speed times three wear as well uh, times four at certain tracks when we go 25 uh, use apron on exit of pits that means you will have to use the apron coming out of pit road to enter on the back straightaway or exit of two I will give you a leniency on exit of two, but I hope you all use the back straightaway because of the apron glitch and the turns. I don't want anybody spinning off of it, but if you really, really want to use the exit of two, I will allow the exit of two as a little leniency there. But as when I mean the exit of two, I mean the exit of two. If you come up in the middle of two, then we'll be handing out a blend line violation. You will be black flagged for. That is the instant black flag rule. That's not a warning. So, th those are the rules, the race settings, the rules that will be implemented during the race, uh, and everything. Sheet number five, we will be going over some of the uh, times cup races will be raced Monday at 7 Eastern 6 Central 5 Mountain Time and 4 Pacific uh, if you uh, cannot make those times of course there will be a second series the Xfinity series which will be racing on Wednesdays so if y'all if y'all can make Wednesdays, um, time is still up for discussion for Wednesday for Xfinity or Truck. So if you guys want, we can um, we can uh, we can talk about it. Okay. Uh, there will be a Discord chat. I already have it made. I don't have it everything set up. I do have it made general. There's a whole bunch of other channels in there for talks like football and NASCAR, just in general if you want to say hello to people. Um, there's also video game tab and everything. Why, why, how about I just pull it up now? Uh, give me one second. Discord. Let me show you guys right now if it can load. I would like it to load real quick. Okay, so this is the Discord. You got general, you can post some memes in there, anything on NASCAR, NFL, F1, video games, and then there's going to be race rules and Discord rules. I kind of have the Cup Series, Truck Series stuff set up. So, that's the Discord. All races will be streamed. Twitch.tv slash slash just cause 04. Make sure you go follow that channel, or you know you you could subscribe right now because these will be uploaded to this channel as well. If you want to see some league racing, subscribe, like. I also got some career mode stuff. I also play other games on here. So if you would like to watch those, just click subscribe. Sheet number three will be the schedule. As, let me scroll up. So the uh, first race will be Daytona. Uh, that will always be tradition. I will not. I will never take that as off. It's first race season. Second race season is the 600. This might be the first 25% race with times four, just because 
I don't know if anybody would be up to run a 200 lap Coco 600. Let's all be honest here. Who, 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 who would, if y'all would like to run, and this is for people who want to sign up for the league, if y'all want to run a 50% Coca Cola 600, we'll, we'll talk about it the week of, okay? Also, group qualifying will be in effect. Richmond will be race three, which is uh, Richmond's a pretty good track. Watkins race four. I'm still debating rules right now about road courses. Okay. Kansas Speedway um, will be race five. Bristol will be race six. Talladega will be race seven. Sonoma, I kind of don't want to put on, but since I didn't want to repeat any road courses, I kind of put Sonoma on here. So, you know. Uh, I think all the road courses. And all, I know all the super speedways are on here, but all the road courses, I think, are on here as well. So, after Sonoma will be Iowa. Race 10 will be Miami. Race 11 will be the night race for Daytona. Uh, race 12 will be Canadian Tire. I had originally the Indy road course right here, but the Indy road course has not been put into the game. That will either come next season, or if they p put it in by race 5 or 4, we'll change Sonoma to ca Canadian Tire, and then we'll put the Indy Road course above the Brickyard. Brickyard 400, race 13, race 14 at Darlington, race 15 at Road America, and then the cutoff race will be Las Vegas. Now, the requirement is to at least make eight races, which is half the schedule. Okay, if you do not make eight starts, then you will not be playoff eligible. So, yeah. Playoff schedule. Bristol, Texas. Bristol, Texas, Mid-Ohio, Dega, Phoenix, Roval, Michigan, New Hampshire, Kentucky will be the nine races before Atlanta. Atlanta will be the championship. As hold on, hold on, one check. Okay, Atlanta will be the championship. Bristol, Texas, Mid Ohio, Dega, Phoenix, Roval, Michigan, New Hampshire, Kentucky will be the nine races before the championship. If you win, you lock yourself in to the championship. Um, I may have to require two wins to lock yourself in, but for right now it's just one. Everybody, and the playoff field, like I said, is currently uh, currently up to debate because of we don't know how many pl people we're going to get. So that will be the cup schedule. If we do and uh, get an Xfinity or truck schedule, this is the Xfinity schedule. You can see there's no Sonoma on here, there's no Canadian Tire. Um, they're, and then the playoffs are the same. Truck schedule, you can see here, no Indy. Um, there's also, I think, if I look up here, no Road America. Um, Eldora is in place in mid-Ohio. Because if we do have all three series, I want a weekend at Ohio, where, uh, the weekend in Ohio, where it's mid-Ohio, mid-Ohio, and Eldora. That's pretty good. And that's the schedule. Um, the final thing would be the rosters. This is the current cars that are eligible. Um, these are current cars that are eligible. Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon will be also eligible for running. Okay, it's currently these are the only paint schemes in the game. The two Tony, this one I found like all of these pictures except for these two, and then the Sunoco one down below for Bubba. I had to make myself. Otherwise, I found these on the internet on the diecast site. So, and the Jeff Gordon one I had to hand make 
well, I technically just took William Byron and made it made it great. But but these are the cars that are eligible to sign up as of right now. And if we do get an Xfinity series, these are the cars that are eligible. Yes, the eight car will be coming as a package, a package deal. So if you select the eight, you do get Dale Jr. and you do get Daniel Hemrick. You same thing for the 21. For 21 cars, if you get if you want the 21, you get all three 21s. It's a package deal. Okay. Um, and then for trucks, the 51 is the same. If you want the 51 truck, it's a package deal. But otherwise, these will be the car, the rosters that are signing up. Uh, if we do get enough people for an Xfinity series, this is the Xfinity roster that will be eligible to sign up. This will be the truck roster if we get in the truck series. If we get people, if we get people in there. And then the cup, but mostly the cup series is what we're focusing on. This is the whole sign up. These are the cars currently eligible in the game as of as of uh, the seventh, no, no, the twenty first of uh, July. As of the twenty first of July, as of the recording of this day at eleven fifty three p.m., which is about the twenty second. This is um the cars that you'll be signing up for uh, so that that's the roster right there that's the core cars that you can choose from um, so any questions about the league you can comment down below you can also uh, I will be uh, if you want to join discord there will be a link down below for discord if you want to join Discord for the league, Discord will be down below. Like I said, I'm going to be spreading this through Twitter, Insta, and on the Heat Discord when y'all will be seeing this. So, thank y'all for watching. Leave a like, comment. My Twitch, my Twitter, and the Discord will be down below. This is Just Cause. Signing out. Peace.